Welcome back, day two of our little vacation adventure thing. Guess what? Still raining. Raining real hard, actually. We're gonna go check out this spot, though, that um, I've heard about in the past. Supposedly, there's a ton of crystals there. So, we might dig a crystal in the rain. Oh, that's one of my favorite Jeeps right there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that thing. Anyway, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be because it's really, really crummy weather out. So, uh, stay tuned, I guess, if you got nothing else to do. There might be amethyst, there might be quartz, who knows? And by the way, amethyst is just uh, purple quartz. Just purple quartz. No and kidding. Then, I didn't know that. Yeah. Don't want to go in that river. Not right now. <laughs> it's a raging river. All right, here we go. Might get messy, might get a little sloppy. A lot of rain, a lot of rain happening right now. Well, we literally have to go through a place called Rocky Bar. Look at all the tailing piles there, look at that. How much gold do you think was out there? Yeah. Enough to where they wanted to move this whole valley, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there was so much gold through <laughs> this whole valley, they brought a huge dredge through and they just, they moved the earth. They moved mountains. <laughs> you don't remember this place, huh? No. You're gonna love it. There's a ghost town right oh, up yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, right. there you go. Look at seven miles an hour. Not five. What, seven? Not ten. Seven. There's that old church I really want to go to. Yeah, there's a lot of old buildings up here, huh? Check this one out. So cool. Oh man, that one fell. Yeah, I remember that one. I love this one back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's from your thumbnail. Yeah. Let's, I want to go check out that one. No, it's private property. This is all private property. Can't can't go off the road. Not even a pine needle? Not even a pine needle. Huh. Really cool though, huh? You can't even take a pine needle? This place was established in like 1863. Well, the sign said 1994, I think it was. Oh yeah? Yeah. 1994? Yeah. It was ripped off and then a new one was put on there. Gotcha. Onward. Okay, this is the furthest down this road that I've ever been. Remember, remember when we crashed the drone up on that hill? Oh yeah. Oh man, that was <laughs> awful, huh? Yeah. So steep. Crashed my drone like way up there. There was some weird electromagnetic Pulses. interference that uh, made it go haywire. Literally, snow right there. Grab some. Oh, what? You don't want a snowball? All right. She wants a snowball. It's starting to get a little creepy up here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is actively trying to snow now. And uh, this pass has required a little four wheel driving. Had to disconnect the sway bar. And I've got lockers on right now. Hopefully it doesn't get too sloppy. Good thing is, just got a winch, so we're just gonna just gonna creep up. Just creeping up. Here we go. Just in case I'm just creeping up. Just in case I'm getting this. <laughs> creeping up. Oh boy. Do I choose to put the no, winch on? No, not yet. Don't put the winch on yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it on yet, but I'm just wondering if I put it on. Here we go. Now we're going. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh man, she's slinging mud. Oh boy. 
Can I put the winch on? No, not yet. We don't need no winch yet. We just gotta get through this sloppy spot. And then hopefully it will be good. But that's uh, some pretty deep snow. It's a little bit deep right there. Little deep. We just gotta maybe gun it and get up My it. My calculations are right. It should take about. You ready? Hour. Are you ready? Yep. Let me know if you need the winch on. I'll, pr I'll trigger it. I'll trigger it. We got her. Look at that. Right through it. Kind easy. of. It wasn't, wasn't easy. But we did it. Yeah. One easy. One easy. All right. <laughs> I think we're the first ones over the pass. That's kind of fun. But now we've got a fallen tree in the way. Debating whether I can get out and move it myself or I might have to just like winch it out of the way. Let's see here. Maybe. Maybe if I, if I pull it back this way. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> Some of it. All I need is just a big enough spot to drive through. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> oh yeah. No problem. Oh man, it's so beautiful up here, you guys. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's almost June, by the way. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to make it. We've reached an impasse. It's just too deep to risk trying. I mean, I probably could, but it's two in the afternoon. <sighs> well, if you didn't already know, I'm an idiot. But at least I know I'm an idiot. And I come prepared to do idiotic things, like, winching out of the snow. Glad I got the winch though. So, we've got her hooked up to a tree right up there. My plan is to winch in, up and over, unhook, and hopefully get back home. Huh? Let's try and get this up over these rocks. Uh, we definitely don't want that to get frayed. There we go. That's more better. Okay, let's get in, give her some juice while we try and winch out. Here we go. Looks like it isn't really working out, huh? Yeah, it will. There we go. There we go. Yay! It's We're working. Getting there. We're getting there. Thank you, tree. We're getting there. Ooh. All right, well, thank you, Winch. That got us out of a huge pickle. Um, we're not all the way out yet, though. Still gotta, still gotta retrace our tracks. It's a little sloppy now. All right, you guys, a little bit more digging, a lot more winching. So thankful that we got a winch because yeah. we would be spending the night on that mountain. It was the first time I've actually got kind of a little bit scared um, about having to stay the night in my Jeep. <laughs> so we're not gonna be able to make it to the uh, the crystal digging spot. Unfortunately, it's uh, got in too Cal much snow. 
Maybe maybe later this spring, huh? Yeah, or like spring break or yeah. whatever. We... All right. Hey. Yeah, I am drenched. It is like it was snowing and raining, and I was digging and winching and repeating. <laughs> ah, man. Let's never do that again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's funny. One second. You're digging your Jeep out of the snow with a shovel, thinking that I'm going to be digging all night. And then, the next second, you're back at the cabin, eating some pizza pie, hanging out. Wow, what a day. Not the day I had anticipated on. Um, not the day I had planned for, but uh, always an adventure. <laughs> Okay, it is now the next day, the day after I got stuck. I was doing some thinking about it last night. I wanted to talk about some of the things that helped idiot-proof that situation. And by idiot-proof, I mean like, you know, yes, I'm an idiot. I, sh I drove somewhere that I obviously shouldn't have, but I know that I'm an idiot and I plan ahead for being an idiot. <laughs> so that being said, the winch really saved our bacon and, and having that, um, especially the synthetic rope. Um, this is the first time I've used a winch with s synthetic line before and some of the benefits that it had, like it actually broke when we were winching. Um, there was a tree, I had, oh, man, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about all of this. Okay. Um, I had my hands full and there was a point that I was actually getting a little bit worried that we were going to stay the night, which isn't the end of the world. I've, Stayed the night in the mountains before. It's not a huge deal. Um, could have uh, <laughs> lived off of deer and squirrels. Could have lived off of deer and squirrels. What are you doing back there? For a few days. Ace is back there somewhere. Can you see him? There he is. Let's talk about some. <laughs> let's talk about staying the night, right? So. Yeah. Oh, don't shake the table. Uh, um. <laughs> Would it been would it have been a huge deal to stay the night? No. No. I mean, we could have just lived off of deer and squirrels for a few days. Deer and squirrels, yeah. And totally. also, we filled up on gas before we left because Dad didn't know how far it was. Yeah, we didn't know how and far it was. And we could have stayed warm through yep. the night. Could have stayed warm through the night. So let's talk Holidays. about let's talk about staying the night in places. Okay, I know that a lot of you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you guys like to explore and some of the things that you should always keep in the back of your mind is what if. We always plan for what ifs because you don't know. You never know. You might get stuck. You might get a flat tire. You might get two flat tires. I've got a spare. But you know, if I get two flat tires, that changes the equation quite a bit. We always carry a lot of water. We always carry lighters. We always have extra blankets. We always you have food. Knives. Uh, knives. Um, Firearms. Um, arrowheads. Arrowheads? I don't carry arrowheads. That's kind of weird. Or you can carry nails, put it on a stick, and and get a gnar stick. And if you have rope, put it on there. There you go. Bone arrow. You've been watching too much Survivor, man. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Basically, what I'm trying to say is prepare for being stuck somewhere potentially. And don't be caught without water. Don't be caught without a way to make fire. Don't be caught un, un um, you know, don't, don't be up you know what creek without a paddle. Bring a paddle. Bring two paddles. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Um, the winch, the winch really saved our bacon. I just put that thing on like a couple weeks ago. I've been wanting one. I highly highly recommend that if you do anything outdoors in your vehicle get a winch and know how to use it know where to winch and why um the the problem that i was having with the winch is that the trees for one this this area had been burned before and we actually fell three trees trying to pull the vehicle out um, that's how loose the soil was after being saturated with melted snow and pouring rain. And the, the trees were all dead anyway, so they weren't really 
taking root <laughs> and they they were very difficult to winch off of so after I was running out of trees I had to unspool the whole thing and then tie a knot on it <laughs> after I fell the, the three closest trees I had to stretch my cable out as far as it would go which you can't do you have to leave a couple wraps on the winch otherwise it, it's too much stress on the rope at the connecting point and that is where it failed. I had to, I had to stretch the maximum spool. And as I was trying to spool it up, that connection point broke. So then I actually, because this, this was the saving grace, because it was a synthetic rope, instead of the, the classic wire winch cable, right? The steel cable, um, I was able to tie it back on and get a couple wraps. And I was able to dig out just enough of a little trench to inch forward and hook that tree. And I, I had to hook it high because yeah. our vehicle was augered into the snow. We were, we were high centered basically. And none and of the wheels were we, touching. We had to leap, go up, but yeah. we also had to go straight. Right, that's right. So I had to actually kind of climb up this tree so I could get a high enough angle on the dangle and pull up and out. And finally, after uh, some like two some, hours, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was about two hours. Yeah, we were we were stranded up there for about two hours, and I was getting pretty nervous. I I should have filmed, but honestly, I was I was not in the filming mode. I was kind of kicking into that like, oh no, <laughs> that mode. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, we we have to not film. We don't. We don't have we, time. We don't yeah. have time to film. We yep. we need to get this jeep out of the mud. Yep, exactly. And That's what happened. Yeah. Not scary. the mud. If we, th there's a couple benefits to having a synthetic line. Number one, the weight. It's a lot less heavy. Um, that steel cable weighs a ton on your bumper and you're cutting down on weight. So that all, that's always helpful. You know, the more weight you can cut out of the equation, the further you can go, the better gas mileage you get, which in a Jeep, you have a gas tank the size of a thimble and you get like 15 miles a gallon. So kind of important. Um, the steel cable though, if it breaks, man, you're, you're in trouble because yeah. you ain't gonna be able to tie it back together. So the synthetic line- You would have line, to go back and you walk. Would, you would have no winch, essentially. Um, and you would have to leave, your car, or yeah. dig it, you or would have like to leave. push it, yeah. or if you couldn't do that, you would have to walk out, Yeah. So which would be very miserable. It's pretty important uh, to me. Uh, I definitely see the benefit in synthetic line. Um, also, if the synthetic line breaks, you can tie it back together. I don't recommend it. It's not going to be as strong, but you can do it, and it might get you out of a bind. I was able to tie it back onto the spool, get a couple wraps, inch forward a little bit to reach that tree. Thankfully, climbed up high, pulled us out. Almost forgot to mention, definitely air down your tires too. I dropped my tire pressure to like 10 PSI, especially in the snow. You gotta lay that tread out, give you a lot more traction in the snow. Don't forget to do that. 